Yeah, I felt like I could teach organic chemistry in in Uyghur. Oh, I finally started writing my this Wuxia Hello, twenty twenty four. Well, whatever. <coughs> Recent updates. Something new about my life. Um, let's start with the languages I've been studying.、Uh, so I haven't started any new language. The latest language that、I've、most recently started is still probably Uyghur, which I've been studying for about two years,、um, on and off. But、uh, I think I haven't used my Uyghur for at least three months, so it's got really rusty. But every time, like every time I use my Uyghur, is when I get drunk. At the co-op shop, when I get drunk, you know, when you're when you get drunk, use whatever language you you sound perfectly fluent. Yeah, I felt like I could teach organic chemistry in in Uyghur, and also I spent a lot of effort on my Korean because I traveled to Korea, well, specifically to Jeju.、Uh, yeah, I traveled to Jeju、uh, last week. Vlogs coming out very soon. I swear, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna add, start editing tomorrow. Well, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, so I spent some time enhancing my Korean, and、um, then also learned Jeju,、um, which I will talk about in my Jeju vlog. I think my next focus, like language-wise, I will spend more time on Uyghur.、I、really want to improve my Uyghur in 2024. Well, I guess all my languages, especially Spanish and Korean, I feel like I've studied them for so many years, but I still haven't reached C two plus level in Spanish. Like I don't want to hit the ceiling as C ones. What else? I have started finally my book, my Wuxia Wuxia 小说拖延了很久很久以后，我终于开始写我的这个武侠小说。现在写了大概几万字吧，但是还还在开头的阶段。然后这个小说讲的大概是元朝元宋交际的时期，啊，就是在忽必烈时期。然后为了这个，我还特意去了一趟北京，在北京在这些遗迹做了一些考察，想一想还是很野心勃勃的，嗯，很有趣。在写的过程中也是就我自己学习，然后自己。我最开始塑造的这些人物，也是我一点一点去跟他们交互，嗯，了解我就是在我笔下诞生的这些人，我我自己去探索他们的人格的这么个过程，然后他们在和不同的人格和那个历史时代相互相互反应的过程，挺有意思的。不知道什么时候能能面试啊？可能大家要等到猴年马月。你为什么想要写武侠小说？我为什么想要写武侠小说？这个好问题。等读者读了我的武侠小说，自己去探索吧。为什么不是玄幻小说、历史小说，而是武侠小说？它和历史小说其实有很多相似的地方。它都是借基于一个历史背景发生的啊。当然也有很多不是的，比如说古龙的小说，它就不不基于某些历史背景。然后金庸的有一些小说，比如《笑傲江湖》。他就是故意没有放在任何历史背景，因为他《笑傲江湖》里面所涉及的那种政治斗争啊、党派斗争，那是人类只要有政治就永远都有的这些东西，所以他故意没有把它放到一个时代里，就是想告诉大家这个事情在任何时代都可能发生。但很多武侠小说，它就是在某些历史特定时期，就是以那个时代为背景写的。啊、呃，我觉得这样的小说更有意思，更有代入性。全世界任何文化、任何国家的历史，它的技术都是有很多很多空缺和漏档的啊，至少到现代社会以前。所以这些里面历史的所有的这些谜题，就是小说文学创作的空间。武侠小说你就可以把它写的悬一点，因为武侠小说里面对对人性有很多浪漫主义的幻想，在在现实世界里可能比起那些呃这个虚无缥缈的武功。高深莫测的武功更不现实，他对完美人格的这个构想可能比他的武功还不现实。但是，正是有这些浪漫的这个道德幻想，对于现实生活在这个冷酷的世界的人，才有一种激励和安慰吧。嗯 ，I guess that's it. Like my life in general is not that exciting. The part I'm most excited about is my book. I really look forward to. Having fun with it, and I don't know. I always think it's gonna be my legacy. Like, it's the only thing that people two hundred years from now will remember from this 
or maybe not. Maybe nobody will remember me at all. But but my videos will still be on YouTube, I guess. Or will there be any YouTube? 就是当你西班牙语和韩语进行学生证的时候你还要验签你要怎么验签就是就是你都到西班牙语你在往到西班牙语你还学什么呀你就是还是每天背单词嗯背单词然后要不停的说要就是要说的更自如然后要能把更多